Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to go back to code signal and we're working on in the arcade here and we're going to go to databases. We left off on this section here and we're gotten up to number nine grade distribution. All right, so at the end of every semester your professor for introduction to databases saves the exam results of every student in a simple database system. In the database system table grades are five columns. So we've got name, an ID, so it's a student ID. So midterm is a grade out of 100 points. Midterm two has a grade out of 100 points and final has a final grade out of 200 possible points. And so there's three possible ways to evaluate a grade. Um, so you can do 25% of the first midterm, 25% of the second, and 50% of the third. You can do 50-50 of the first and second midterm, or you can just do 100% of the final. So each student's final grade comes from the option that works best for that student. As a teaching assistant, you need to query the name and ID of all students whose best grade comes from option 3. So that's the 100% exam. sorted based on the first three characters of their name. If the first three characters of two names are the same, then the student with the lower ID comes first. Okay, so that's the sorting condition here. So let's look at the grades table. So like I said, there's grades here, and just name and ID. So they just want the name and ID of those that scored best with 100% final. And so they give us how they calculated Anthony's best option. So you've got 25% of 100 for the first option, 25% of the second midterm, and 50% of the third one, which gives you that. The second option is 50-50 of the midterms, which gives you 55, and then or third option is 100% of the final, which gives them 50. So it's actually a pretty simple calculation. So we just have to find out uh, which ones is the one is the final greater than these two options uh, here. So the big work is actually in the where clause here. So let's go over that first. So final exam is or option three is what we're looking for and that's 100% of the final so we can just put in final and that's got to be greater than these two conditions so let's do both of these conditions uh, separately so first we've got we have midterm one midterm two and final so we're going to do 0.25 times midterm one 0.25 midterm two plus 0.5 times final. So our final's got to be greater than that, and the final also has to be greater than the second option, so that would be 0.5 times midterm plus 0.5 times midterm 2. Okay? So this where condition will tell us which one, is only, this third option is the best, and we know from our table output here we need name. So select name. Actually, actually I don't need this alias. I can just do so the name is the same here. And then ID again. I don't need that alias. I'm not sure why I put those in there. Um, and then we got the following grade tables, and then the order by condition, we'll go back to that. So sorted by the first three characters of their name. So we're going to use the left function here uh, for MySQL, and we're going to look at name. So what this does is you put in a string, and then how many characters you want to take from the left side. So in this case it would be DAV, this would be ANT, and so on. And then it says if they both have the same three letters of their first name, then the student with the lower ID value comes first. So then we just put the second sort condition as ID. Go ahead and run that. And we got it correct. 
correctly. So you can see results are the same. So then you can go ahead and submit that and that'd be correct. All right, hopefully you guys were able to follow along with that and you got an answer similar to that. Um, keep coming back here and I'll keep doing more in the CodeSignal databases SQL coding exercises. So if you get stuck, go ahead and come back to this channel and hopefully I will have done a video on that one. Thank you very much.